Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another action figure vehicle from the Power of the Force action figure line from the 1990s. And this is the A-Wing Fighter. And uh, this particular one was used by the Rebel Alliance in uh, Return of the Jedi. It's the only movie from the original trilogy where this vehicle appears. And it's in that final battle against the second Death Star uh, where you get to see this thing in action. And uh, I really love the way that uh, they did this vehicle. I think it's more or less based off of the uh, vintage Kenner version. Uh, and uh, some interesting aspects of this, too, uh, because uh, on the bottom of this, uh, you can see uh, it has deployable landing gear. And also has uh, what would have been a battery compartment had this thing included electronics. But as you can see, that compartment is completely empty. Uh, there's no electronic sound effects or anything on this. So... Uh, but uh, the battery compartment is there, so this might be useful if you're a customizer because having that battery compartment in there means that you could probably uh, take this particular action figure vehicle and add in uh, lights or sounds or, or whatever you really wanted to do if you're sort of a, a whiz at electronics. So so that's kind of a cool thing. And uh, as I mentioned, there's deployable landing gear on this, uh, but the, the lever that actually deploys them is a little finicky. So you kind of have to give it a little help uh, when you're moving the landing gear up and down because uh, this is not not very smooth in terms of the uh, deploying of the gear. So you kind of have to uh, nudge the, the gear along as you're, as you're moving that lever. Um, uh, I'm always very careful when I'm moving the landing gear back and forth because, because that lever, again, it just, uh, it's very finicky and uh, you don't want to break anything accidentally. So... So you kind of have to nudge the gear along as you're moving the lever. So, yeah, not a very good design in terms of the way they did that landing gear. But it is nice to have landing gear because a lot of action figure vehicles often overlook that particular aspect of it. And they just sort of cheat and uh, don't do the landing gear. One other feature uh, that uh, is on this is uh, there's a little lever here for opening the canopy too. So if you push uh, forward on this, you can see the canopy pops open. And inside there, you can see uh, the action figure that came with this vehicle. Uh, this makes it a little bit different from some of the earlier Power of the Force action figure vehicles, which did not come packed in with a figure like Luke's X-Wing or Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Basically, you just bought the vehicle, and then you had to buy the action figure separately. Whereas this one actually came packed in with the figure. Uh, one other uh, gimmick on this is uh, these side guns. Uh, they actually pop out like that, and then you can actually rotate them like this. So uh, that's one extra feature. But this doesn't include any, uh, you know, launching missiles or sound effects or lights like some of the other action figure vehicles. So it's pretty uh, bare bones in terms of uh, what's here. But in terms of the overall detail and painting on it, I think it looks fantastic. And there wasn't too much in terms of sticker application either. There were these two stickers here in the front and then uh, the ones inside the cockpit. Uh, so they're a little tricky to put on, in place, but um, once you get them in there, uh, they look pretty good. So, uh, And we'll take the uh, action figure out of here so we can take a, a closer look at this figure. Um, this figure um, is pretty minimalistic, uh, not too much in terms of detail or articulation, but it, it's sufficient. Uh, basically, he gets a six points of articulation, including rotation at the waist. So uh, overall, I like the detail on it, uh, but again, um, not too much to write home about, and it isn't, as far as I know, a specific character either. Uh, basically, it's a you know generic A-wing pilot, not specific to any particular character. But for what it is, I think it's great, and I'm glad that they actually included it with the vehicle because uh, if you had to buy it separately, um, that would be the kind of action figure that might be difficult to obtain. So, uh, so I'm kind of glad they actually included it with the vehicle in this particular case. And that, that has become the norm, actually, um, for most action figure vehicles nowadays. They usually do come packed in with at least one figure. Um, so that's sort of standard in terms of uh, the way Hasbro normally does vehicles these days. They usually don't pack them, you know, by themselves. Although I kind of wish they did because it, it might actually cut down on the amount of cost it would take to actually produce these. Um, lately, Hasbro uh, seems to be reluctant to actually produce vehicles in three and three quarter inch scale, unless there's some elaborate HasLab project. So uh, so it's kind of tough to come by these vehicles these days, um, at least newer versions of them. So I'm actually pretty happy to uh, have a, a decent collection from the 1990s of these vehicles, because, uh, you know, 
getting them today is uh, somewhat difficult. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of action figure vehicles in the future, think about subscribing to the channel because I will be covering a lot more of this in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and may the force be with you. Thanks for watching.